This is crazy. I literally cannot believe this happened. The guy flipped us over in the water on the Coast Guard truck. So many people. You okay, mommy? I'm so sorry. You did so good, okay? The tough thing about a natural disaster is you never know exactly where it's going to hit. You don't know if you're going to become a victim. Our next guest wrote it out like most of us did, but then they found themselves in trouble. Joining me now is Arnesia and her daughter, Kristen. Hello there. Hi, how are you? All right, blessed, yes, <laughs> as I know you feel blessed. as well, yes, right? Yes, All yes. right, so you, like all of us, we knew the storm was coming yes. and we were gonna hunker down. Yes. When was the first sign you were in trouble? Um, well, I woke up one morning and we saw that the water had come up significantly higher than what it was at first overnight. Yeah. And so I thought, okay, you know, we have two floors, so we should be okay. But yeah, I think when, a lot of people in two story buildings. Right, right? so we, we can thought we can be floor. okay. Yeah. But the back of the neighborhood, everybody was just, for like a whole day or two, people were just coming to the front of the neighborhood with bags through the water. Yeah. They had nowhere to now, go. Now, were you in trouble because of just the water that was dropped initially or because of the reservoir release? I think it was the release okay. because we have a lake in the neighborhood and I think the lake started overflowing and it made the, the uh, neighborhood um, flood yeah. because we don't really live in an area that usually floods. Yeah. And so the power went out of the house and that's when we said, okay, we have to leave because we only have a few hours before the sun sets. And if we're here with no power, no phone, electricity, how is anyone gonna know that we need to be rescued? Yeah, so you had gone to the, the higher floor. Right, so, so the first few days we were on the second floor. All right. Yeah. So when this is all happening, it's gotta be very frightening for a child. What were you thinking was going on? I just heard a voice in my head that, oh, you're just gonna lose everything. Your house is gonna be flooded. Just. It was just really devastating. Yeah. And of course that is the tough part. You're gonna yeah. lose everything, but initially yeah. outside of losing everything, you're really focusing on saving your life. Right. I think a lot of us, uh, you don't know unless you're actually in that situation yes. where you see the water going, there's no place else for you to go. Exactly. Uh, you know, after you get off that second floor, yes. you're on the roof waiting yes. for somebody to rescue yeah. you. Help finally came. Yes, yeah. so we, um, luckily we called the sheriff's department um, and they, they came to rescue us on one of the really big um, trucks. So once you actually, I realized, once you get out into the water, it's a whole different experience than watching it on TV from your house. So once I got into the water, I'm like, wow, this is real. It feels like you're in a movie. Yeah. And I'm like, this is real. And there is so much water everywhere. I was just scared to get on the truck because you have to walk through the water. You can't really see where you're stepping at all. Right. And um, to get on the truck. So once we got on the truck and he rescued mo majority of everyone on our street, he comes out of the neighborhood and makes a left turn and the truck flips over. Wow. So, and there's just water everywhere. So at this point, it doesn't even look like there are streets. You can't really tell what's the street, what's just water. Yeah. Now, is this um, the truck that you were on? The truck that we were over. on, we flipped over. And so at that point, yeah. you're you're not only looking to save yourself, but it's like right. your family members. You, I mean, yeah. you grab onto her. My daughter, yeah. my dogs, my mom, my sister, my stepdad, we were all on the truck and so many of our neighbors were there. And um, the first thing I've, initially I was frantic and I started crying and I was just like, oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Yeah. That's what I thought. The second thing, when I saw uh, my mom almost fall out and grab on for her life, and then I saw my dogs fall toward her, and then I saw Kristen uh, fall towards the, on top of the dogs. That's when mommy kicks and in. And then right? I just, I immediately stopped crying, and then all of a sudden this guy comes and he's like, I'm gonna help you. I don't know where he came, where he came from. And he helped us off of the, uh, the truck. And um, I just said, just take my daughter. Just take her right now. And so um, he took her and uh, we pushed through the water. Your mom was drowned. My mom, yeah, my mom was drowned. My stepdad, luckily he helped her and he um, started coordinating with her how to get off. Everyone was really by themselves. I mean, no one really, um, had help on what to do. And there were so many It's not like we've people. had practice at this. That's no the practice, tough part, right? yeah. And, and unfortunately, there were people on the street who don't even speak, who don't even speak English. And they're just, they don't know what to do. They have no direction. And so we had to get, gather all of our belongings and tread through the water. And we got to like the next light. And all of a sudden, um, 
another guy shows up in the red truck and I wish I can find this guy to this day. And he shows up in the red truck and he gets as many people as he can on the back of his truck. And he takes us to the nearest Kroger store. And you saw the worst so of the better. situation, but you saw the best in people at yes, that moment the too. the best in people because I'm so grateful to those two guys. It's the guy, he just came at the right time. And I just said, just, just grab my daughter. Yeah. Just, and Even though that part is over, it still yeah. stays with you too. And Kristen, yeah. um, do you still think about that moment? Yes, almost every single day. Yeah. And what about you? Nancy? Yeah, yeah. Every day we think about it and we're just really so, I, my heart is, it was the worst moment, but at the same time, it was like the best thing that could have ever happened because I'm so grateful to the outpouring support from my family, my friends, and the two gentlemen who rescued us. Yeah. Um, I'm really, really grateful. Yeah. All right, well, the tough part about that for you and so many yeah. other people, and even people who are watching it over and over, yeah. we watched hours of it, yeah. is that it kind of stays with us emotionally. So yeah. when we come back, we'll get some tips on kind of how to wash that away. Yeah.